What is up? It's your boy, Anecdotal, and today, today we're going to talk about how in the world you're going to be spending all of these free Spirit Highland tickets. Now, yeah, I know new units have been announced, but without knowing how many we would need with their evolved form, there's really not a lot to say about them other than that they do look highly impressive. Now, a couple of people have been asking for a guide to Spirit Highlands. One of the reasons probably is because I have pretty much every single pet there is to farm in Spirit Highland at five star with the exception of these four right here. So I can definitely tell you which ones were worth farming and which ones I decided to farm really just because I wanted to catch them all because I was born right around there where Pokemon was a big deal and catching them all is just part of what I have to do now in Spirit Highland. There's no reason to farm anyone here. So let's go over the pets that you do want to get and what pets you might want to farm because of the giveaway here. Here you go. There. Of, of all of this, man. Oh my god. So yeah, you know, I'm also VIP. I've spent at least a dollar. So everything is doubled. So 10 on the left side, 10 on the VIP side. So that's 10, 30, 40, 50, 70, 100, 150, 180, 190, 222, 32, 62, 70, 300, and ugh, so much more. So how are you going to wisely spend over 300, probably over 400 of the Spirit Highland tickets, and if you're a VIP, if you spent at the very least one dollar, which at this point it's hard not to recommend, what would you spend over 800 of these tickets on? Because each one is equivalent to one pet fragment. Now, what you will find out is there are a finite amount of pets you can get a day. Usually it's 10. If it's late game, if the pets just got released, these guys hold on let's go to all this guy you can only farm them four times if they just got released the pets associated with whatever the new honor units are are only available in four spots always and when a new rotation comes along these four pets including laylac here will come up with another six slots just filling up the new rows for spirit highlands when a new unit is introduced a new honor unit that is so for now you can only get four of these guys so if you don't have them you should be farming them and if you feel like it's taking too long don't worry new units are about to drop and you're about to be able to farm 10. now if you're nowhere near this let me go ahead and take this out of my favorites list these are the pets that you should be farming starting from the very beginning now i already have a series on the pets that you need to farm so make sure to refer to that if you want some more details. So starting all the way from beginner game and all the way on the first page, the things that you want to farm or pets that you want to farm are first the gold pets. So Mambo is right here in the very beginning of the game. Getting this boost in gold will just almost unequivocally help you in the game like nothing ever before because you have issues just opening the very first few quests. And if I wait a while, I could actually open the last quest available for me, though once I up my friendliness for humans, I will unlock another quest that I won't be even near unlocking. So you guys will probably be somewhere here, probably around this red dragon, or maybe below it and you're trying to get some of these dispatches or something like that. You're probably somewhere in the maybe... 30s right around there you're going to want to get mambo all the way up to five star which is this elephant you're going to want to get piggy all the way to five star and you're going to want to get where's snork i thought he was on this page oh and the snowman snork all the way to five star and as you can see though getting a three star on these stages is preferable because you have this ability to now complete it without having to play it over again if you can't do it just don't worry about it all that matters is that you pass the stage you will get the fragment hundred percent of the time you will get the pet you don't need to worry about getting a three star or not 
So just play through it, get to the pet that you want. As long as you can beat the stage, you're okay. You will definitely get the fragment. So those are the first three pets that you can get here. Everything else can be ignored. Just straight up ignore them. Second page, we are going to start getting into some meta territory. So if you've seen the early game meta video that I have, you will know that Tinky is invaluable here. You need the skip rate that it gives to fairies. So you need to farm Tinky no matter what. So when you go ahead and you click on them, make sure to do it. So Tinky's here. Sleepy is another gold pet, which is optional. Ninja of Darkness, which is a great unit for both TOT and Spirit Highlands, is someone that you want to have. It's a great combination when you have Ninja of Darkness Awakened. It is just one and done when you have him. But is it essential to farm? Not really. But if there's no one else, you could go ahead and farm more of Sleepy. Let's see who else is on this page. There's more Snork and everyone else really isn't relevant. Some people might say to farm Indy right here for Wolf Warrior, but Wolf Warrior has fell out of the elf meta. You honestly could use any of the new elf units and the job is done. Don't even worry about it. Icy, absolutely needs a farm. You will get the five times proc from the time shop when you have enough of priests in your team or in the time shop. So you're going to want 12 evolved. Same thing for fairies, you're going to want 12, but I'm not going to dive into the specifics. I've already done that on previous videos. And you can just go ahead and check that out if you're curious and want to know how many you need, or you can just try to read the stats yourself. So the next pet is Boom Boom, absolutely essential for drummer and for increasing that metal buff from the time shop in the revival team. Now an optional pet is Lamp or Lampy. I didn't quite get him early on, but it opens chests for you if you have it at five star. You can skip it if you want, but if you want to be a little bit more idle within this idle game and not have to click on treasure chest to get more gold to unlock quests further, then Lamp might be someone that you want to farm. If you're particular to raids, there are raid pets that you can farm, but at this point in the game, leveling up is more important than raid pets. So without raid pets, if you are 10 levels higher than someone with raid pets and it's not even close to being at five star, you're still going to be doing more damage because guild boss raids are based on level. Later on, you can focus on raid pets but try at least being at a level where you can help first. So I would say just hold off on raid pets. If you're wondering who the raid pets are, they are just actually right here in order. There's this guy named Mir, next to this cloud named Nimbus, Jungler, which is an I don't know what it is, and Rapti's pet, uh, don't, it's, I don't know what this is either. It's probably some sort of a dinosaur. Here we have Winky, which is also a gold pet along with Sleepy, but there's no reason to get any of them either. We're only going for the meta pets. So Icy again is here and Wakong. So we're going to start getting into some real big type stuff because Wakong is the pet for Waven Rider and we have Squirrel. Now Squirrel popped up before. I think you should farm Squirrel because it increases your damage for elves and in your guild boss raid teams when you are facing that second boss so let's quickly just try to go back to this right here the second boss is always always no matter who you face an aerial boss and that means your elves need to do the maximum amount of work so when it comes to guild boss raid pets i think that squirrel and jingler are the ones that you want to focus on if you're going to focus on them at all. So you just equip Squirrel for those fights. The next person you wanna get is Seahorse for sure. Oh, I almost missed a crow here. The crow is for Dark Archers. And believe me, once you get the Dark Archer pet, things go crazy on metal buff because you no longer need to put Dark Archers in your revival team. Uh, I have a video on that as well, so I'm not gonna dive into that as much. And Seahorse will help Naga. So you definitely need those pets on the double. And that's just about it. You can go for Sarah, which is Valkyrie's pet. You awaken Valkyrie, put that on your team, and you will just, it's just a helpful unit to have. After you get everyone else, 
you can farm Sarah if you would like. And I'd say the same thing about Reyna here. Because for Outland Battle, Flame Severe will get a boost. And you'll do even more damage when doing Outland Battle. So both of those, Sarah and Reyna, I would also put just to the side of the meta when it comes to pets. Because you're, for Outland Battle, they are currently the best in slots. But looking at the new units that have come up, they might be dethroned. Now, I said I didn't want to talk too much about the new units because the vault stats for them are not out. Though you can kind of guess what they are. I really don't want to hypothesize and get things wrong. Now, here is the Hippogriff pet, Hippong. Obviously, you want to farm Hippong. Once you can get rid of the Hippogriffs on your team, you can transition to the Orc meta. You want to get Ozma and Saul eventually, like right after, I would also say right there in the corners, right next to the meta, because what they do is that they increase the amount of medals you get during Spirit Rest. They break the Spirit Rest formula, and it will really work out and help you. Tribe Fortification Pets and the Homie here, which is part of the meta that not a lot of people talk about, Cat Knight helps immensely because an extra 1.2 times speed goes into the speed that you currently have when you have this pet which is why wig knight was making such a splash when it first came out so these are the pets that you want to farm along with all the new tribe friendliness pets because let's face it if you're not into tribe friendliness yet just take a look at the shop you can get an extra artifact slot you can get an extra quest which might not matter now but later on it will matter a lot you can get more tickets for both outland battle and for spirit highlands now i'm at the point where spirit highlands almost does not matter at all to me i'm farming whatever pets and outland battle man don't you just want to rank up higher and oh man let's like i'm so close to getting some of these outland battle pets kobe here is at 86 and i can awaken a scrub unit I wonder how powerful they're going to be. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I can't wait to see what an awakened small unit can do. It will revamp like TLT stages and everything else. So I wonder what's going to happen once they get a power up. So what else can you do? Like I already know what pets to farm, man. Why are you telling me? Well, there's actually a second thing to talk about when it comes to all of these new prizes, all of these new tickets. That you can use now you can see that i use some but not all and the reason for that is is because you can no longer skip and have the option to get an extra five tickets with gems and i always want to at least spend the first second and third refresh because that first it only costs 100 to get five tickets the second it costs 200 and the third which might seem pricey is 400 gems for a total of an extra 15 tickets for its cheapest possible price now i would always at least spend 300 because every daily login we get a free 300 gems for playing the game so it's basically a free 10 tickets to farm the pets that you need to farm so if you're over the max you just can't spend it so in order to spend crystals or your gems wisely it's a smart move to not accept everything all at once now why else after you get all the pets and you have nothing else to farm what would you do now personally i would farm all of whatever pet you have at five star my guess is that it would be the gold pets it would be mambo piggy and snort what i would do since you are always able to farm at least 10 of every old pet that isn't the current new honor unit pets is try to get things from the secret shop so in this secret shop you can get just some amazing effects so the pets that i recommend that you get obviously will be the dragons so first you want to get blue dragon where's my gold dragon I, I use gold dragon every single video so that I can further increase everything in my quest so gold dragon you want to get blue dragon and you want to get orc guardian now the most important for you as a new player or even as a mid game player will be gold dragon so you go ahead you go to the secret shop if you have it open and you want to farm 10 of everything so here you can see I have 10 of specific pets 
That way I can get just three of all of these pets. Now, uh, let me tell you, just at one star, at two star, and at three star, these gold dragons will help you immensely. You'll, you'll probably level up because you'll unlock an extra quest or you'll be able to feed more gold into your units than you ever have before. So what can you do with all these new or extra tickets for Spirit Highland? Use them to buy out what you need in the secret shop. Now I'm just getting absolutely anything that I can because I want to get rid of all of the guardians so that I can start farming the newer, the Norse gods I guess? Yeah, the Norse pets, the ones that like the MCU Thor Heimdall pets. So once I can do that, they will only not show up in the secret shop after I end up getting all of these pets. It'd be cool once I get rid of these metal buff pets. Once I get rid of them, it'll free up some space. Uh, these are always worth five and they are not worth your time. Never get them, unless, unless you're me, you don't wanna be doing things like this. So I will have no problem buying these just to get them out the way and see that sign that says, hey, you're gonna have to wait 24 hours to get some new pets. I will. So the biggest advice I can give to you guys now that you have extra tickets is to use these extra tickets that you get here. Get 10 of every pet because 10 is the maximum that you can find anywhere. And this only works with pets that you already have at five star which is why i said mambo piggy snore with the first pets that you would farm anyways get 10 of them and if you see gold dragon if you see a uh, blue dragon or green dragon i always forget because the portrait color is different from the actual name of the color so i think it's blue or green dragon right oh now i gotta check now i need to know hold on let's let's see yeah the blue dragon that's that's green here so gold dragon blue dragon and or guardian if you want to focus on one do the calculations of how many tickets you would get if you're vip it's going to be somewhere around like 800 or maybe even a thousand if not it's like 400 or 500 every 10 will give you three so you can figure out exactly how many fragments you would get if you only go for that one particular pet and you will see what star you can get it at so at one star you need 10 fragments so if you give up 40 fragments of extra uh, fragments for whatever pet you have probably mambo you can end up with 12 total fragments for gold dragon and you unlock the pet then once at one star you're going to need 20 so then you do the math of how many you would need to then two star the pet and then you will need 50 to three star the pet after that it doubles up again to 100 and then you all know that it goes up to 150 to get it to five star now you'll definitely not with the extra tickets be able to get it to five star i don't think you'll even be able to get it to four star so think about it think wisely do the math yourselves and you'll be able to figure out what you can do and how far you can get that gold dragon that blue dragon and of course that orc guardian and that is the order of importance that you should be getting those pets in the secret shop if you're an earlier mid game player so guys this has been your boy anecdotal letting you know how to spend those extra tickets for spirit highlands if you like the video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and anyone who plays Endless Frontier. And of course, if you want to see some more Endless Frontier content, make sure to subscribe. I'm Brian Toro, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.